Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 3rd, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking at here the last 48 hours of images of our sun, no major solar flares or major CMEs thwarted our way since the KP7 event a couple days ago, but we are observing still eight sunspot regions and as well plasma filaments and a pretty spastic outgoing action on the numerous sunspot regions. Last 48 hours incoming. And then outgoing here, this is where I was talking about. Pretty spastic region. Lots of plasma looping around and spinning around here. Numerous sunspots involved in that region there. Plasma filaments erecting from the surface. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. And as well, notable most recent eruption did create a CME and as well notable big coronal hole earth facing and we've already seen the increase in solar winds they're up and over 500 kilometers per second right now big plasma filament northeast region and as well southern region there looking at 171 angstroms here just still some amazing images brought to you by solar dynamics observatory mixed here with daily events worldwide Looking at eight sunspot regions. Five of them getting ready for an earth facing view. Three of them turning away. Another look here at another light. Big sunspot regions getting ready for an earth facing event. Let's hope they stay quiet. That is a very big one in the northern region. Current space weather conditions, there are none to re talk about. But as I said, solar winds are coming in at 530 kilometers per second. That is indicative from the coronal hole wind stream. Looking here, yesterday I did report that long duration strong C-class solar flare, but there has not been much since. A couple minor C-class solar flares today. Geomagnetic activity hopping up a bit to a KP3 earlier today. Space Weather Prediction Center showing a most recent CME taking off from the sun, but not in an earth fa uh, earthward fashion. Looks like the energy may give us a glance around the 5th or the 6th of December. ISWA space prediction spiral showing the most recent CMEs taking off towards Mercury. And if you look at the images from the sun, it was the last few images on the sun, bottom left-hand region. That was the most recent activity. Showing here the last go to the last 48 hours events. Watching the bottom left hand side there, you're going to see a sun diving comet. Watch for it closely. And then shortly thereafter, a couple CMEs, there it goes. Did shoot out from our sun. We'll zoom that in and slow that down for you. Have a quick look at this sun diving comet. Watch this region here. There it is. And its tail. You can see it reaching up. Oh, wow. Just about to the western region of the sun. And then a couple CMEs take off just like that. Interesting. All right. Let's get to earthquakes here as we still have that earthquake event going on. A couple large earthquakes going on today. 6.9, 7.0 reported east of all of these earthquakes here on the coast of, off the coast of the Philippines. But they seem to be getting closer to Marianas and as well towards the coastline. So heads up, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody. Tsunami watches were put out. Look at this, another 6.6 .6 today and a 6.9. Wow, boy, oh boy. So yeah, tsunami watches were put out, but warnings weren't put out. But we're looking at four buoys in the West Pacific right now that are going into event mode and have been in event mode since the earthquake let yesterday. And Japan, Al Jazeera was reporting that Japan reported a 34 centimeter tsunami wave on one of their southern islands through the Riku Islands region. And look at this, Mog Islands region. 
Northern Marianas Trench still going on. 4.8 earthquake just recently. 4.9 there. Izu Islands, Japan region. This is where all the activity is. There's been over 130 earthquakes in the Philippines. Notable earthquake here, 4.6 Romania. 5.1 earthquake here, South Sandwich Islands, Scotia Plate, north of the Michael Volcano. South American Plate, very quiet today. As well as Central America. And then wait till we get to North America. There is absolutely nothing to report across North American soil. I mean, the numbers of the Philippines earthquakes could be taking up all the room here, but still nothing notable to report across North American soil right now. Let's have a look at the last seven days for shankers around the world. Very quiet across the North American plate. Heads up and look at this. Over 120 earthquakes, the Philippines. I really hope that the shift has not begun. Have we reached the tipping point? And I've talked about this many times. Are we close to the magnetic reversal? I do believe we could be. With all of these most recent events, there hasn't been such strong earthquakes in the Marianas Trench in over 100 years. Just saying. Now let's get to weather here, brought to you by Pacific Disaster Center and as well, most recent volcanoes getting updated. Got Krakatoa in Indonesia, Luatolo in Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador. Multiple flood alerts here, 230 active hazards, tsunami watches three hours ago, Alaska, BC, US coastline, and as well, Hawaiian Islands here. Multiple earthquakes, Sabancaya in Peru, Reventador in Ecuador, Popocatetl in Mexico, and as well, Marapi awakening 14 hours ago. Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia. Villa Rica in Chile, awakening eight hours ago. So what, we've got two newly awakened volcanoes over the past 24 hours amongst these 230 disaster alerts. Also, Dekono in Indonesia. Having a look at satellite imagery around the world, huge trough line stretched from the Gulf straight across eastern Canada it's bringing severe weather to parts of central Ontario and as well some pretty thick fog, mixed precipitation all across Ontario right now with that uh, Colorado low that moved across getting some tropical air injection. Flood conditions still continue through northeastern parts of Australia. Watch for a cyclone coming towards your land. Long range forecast. And then just look at all these earthquakes. This is just crazy. What is going on in the Philippines? Tsunami watches, warnings across the Pacific. Japan reporting 33 centimeter tsunami wave. Strong low heading across Greece right now. Cold temperatures getting ready to fuel in. If you haven't seen that cold forecast, please check it out. We've also got Tropical Cyclone Magog heading up into eastern shores of India. Now let's get to the air quality forecast here, showing the SO2 models forecasted here for the next few days. A couple notable eruptions there, Reventador through Colombia and as well Popopoketatol through Mexico. But where's all this SO2 coming from Canada? in the New Madrid area. Notable over the North Atlantic as well. Lots of SO2 coming off those Canary Islands. Overlooking the rest of the world compared to everywhere else. Big eruption at Etna. You can see a big thick plume heading across eastern Mediterranean right now. And that will eventually wrap itself around the northern hemisphere. Big plumes coming out of central Africa. 
notable eruptions through Peru. Much love, everybody, and I hope, I'm happy that you enjoy these updates. And if you do, please share with a friend, smack the like button, get into the comment section, let me know where you're watching from. Let's get to the world weather forecast here. Low pressure system affecting Ontario and moving northeastward across the Atlantic provinces. High pressure ridge building in behind that. It will be dry for a few days. Big strong low develops here in the North Atlantic. Strong low moves into the Mediterranean. And then a strong low whips out of Colorado here. Mixed with Gulf air yet again. Watch for a pretty strong system here to develop across eastern United States and into Canada. At the same time, a big low moving into the west coast. Cold high pressure ridge in between. Oh yeah, that is going to be a big mixed bag of events across North America. Snow accumulation, we'll have to check that out tomorrow. Overlooking Africa and Australia, Southeast Asia. Got tropical cyclone Magog heading up the eastern seaboard. Looks like it's just going to rake right up. Luckily, not anything stronger than a Category 1 tropical storm. Also got tropical system here. Developing in the long range for northeastern Australia. Heads up through Queensland as this thing will be making landfall Sunday, Monday, 10th into the 12th of December. Leave you here overlooking the North Pacific. Multiple systems getting ready to make a big presence known across the BC coastline, Washington, and as well all across Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. Heads up. Stay safe, everybody. Pretty big forecast here. Lots of earthquakes going on. Big changes. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.